Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're at Port Scatho on the Roseland. So for our walk today we've parked here at the Port Scafo and Port Koenig Beach car park. £3.50 all day. Port Koenig Beach is on the Roseland Peninsula near Port Scafo. Hello, are you going to help me with this? So say our walk today is from... Yeah, from there. Can walk you, number 28. We've barked 28 times. Look, the sun is just starting to come out. Fantastic. From the left end of the car park, assuming you're facing the sea, pass through a gate and bear left on a grassy path. A gate provides access to the coastal path before passing through a further gate and steps down to the beach. It's a lovely sheltered spot on the Roseland, but behind me is a bank of grey cloud. And every now and again on the sea, you get the glimpse of some sunshine. It's teasing us, tantalising. So we're heading down there to Porth Koenig Beach. So we know in the winter the National Trust organises litter picks on Porth Kernick Beach. They pick up lots of it. <laughs> Turn right through a gate to follow the coastal path again. Follow the coast path around the small headland with a small stone building. Oh, we'll have to investigate. So looking up that way is Nairhead and in the very distance is Dobman Point. So we're heading back that way along the coast. So Sarah, yeah. I'm feeling a bit bad. Why? Well, whilst I've lived here all my life, yes. and obviously this area is called the Roseland, yes. I don't know why it's called the Roseland. No, nor do I. But you know everything. Ah, I thought you knew the answer to that. No, ah. I don't actually, because there's no big family or anything, is there? If you know, put it in the comments below, let us know. Yeah, especially you, Rayman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Headland is just covered in little flowers of the hawthorn. They've all opened at once. The sea is looking stunning today. With the reflection of the cloud, it's quite inky black, dark greens, beautiful greys. I love the sea when it's like this. It looks so moody. Just be aware, there's a great big drop of a style after this gate. Our old dog needs a helping hand, don't you, boy? Doesn't have a doggy need a helping hand. I think I need a helping hand. <laughs> the coast path passes around the edge of a field and across styles before proceeding down onto Porthby and Beach. Someone's turned it into a little bit of sculpture, I think. Look at that. We're the only ones on this beach today. <laughs> what found? Actually, barky dogs. Oh, well done. Oh, very good. Complete shell. You can see all different types of shells. And this beach seems to have a huge selection of different types of shell. You've got your cuttlefish there. Let even an oyster shell. What a brilliant beach to start a shell collection. Bear left away from the beach to follow a stepped path. So this walk today is three and a half miles long, graded as an easy. So you wouldn't expect too many steep ups and downs. Walk on between hedges, ignoring a path on the left to cross a stile ahead. The view from on top this stile. Spectacular. That sky today, you don't know if it's going to be rainy, sunny. It's very warm though. So we've just come up there. That marker post says to Kagurul. 
across this field. There are lots of mummy and baby cows, and much as they're really cute, the mummy cows will defend their calves if we try and walk mm. through them. She's getting a bit uncomfortable with me here now, I think. What's the plan then? Can't you get them to move it? <laughs> they were in there mooing at me as it was. Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, well, let's go on a bit further because there is a road that's shown on that map. Uh, I reckon we can just probably join up that road and come back to where that would have linked us to. Okay, so we think that might be Pendawa Beach. There is a path going up here. So we're going to give that a go. See what's up there. There's a gate up there. Let's try that. Cool, when the sun comes out, it raises the temperature somewhat. Anyway, the good news is we can see a proper gate up there and we think it's got a public footpath sign on. So that's where we're headed. We couldn't get to that gate post. <sighs> we're probably about here, I reckon, at the moment. Trying, yeah. to, trying to get back onto this road here. So we reckon in the distance there is Pendawa Beach, which is the next walk on, walk number 29. 28 and a half. Yeah, we are, aren't we? It did cross my mind. Should we just do both of them and then we can pick up the instructions of the other one and just Easy, like it, it would, wouldn't it? Our car is <laughs> all the way over there. Why are you saying it like that? It seems an awful long way away. Nah, get on. Good stank. But we have now got to the gate we could see and it is a public footpath. Okay. Up there. Let's go. So we can see some houses in the distance now. Hopefully that's Kagurul. <laughs> so although we had our slight detour, I think we're on track. And of course that is no fault of the book. There I am. I wonder if that's the top of the field we would have come out of. So we're going to try and rejoin at that track, aren't we? Those cows are all sat down there. Makes it good fun, doesn't it? Yeah, there is. We are now in a field of free-range chickens and they did ask us to put the doggies on the lead, which we would have done anyway. Look at them, aren't they just so cute? Look at our dogs, he doesn't know what to make of it. I think he's frightened of it. Brilliant, so we've joined up with where we should have come out. Footpath to the coast and Kagarul Farm. So we're going to go up there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? There we go, the main A3078 between Truer and St Moors. Now turn right, taking care, this is a busy road. Right. Before crossing the road to follow a tarmac road downhill. Traffic light on left. A traffic light road. Have you ever seen that before? Not for us to walk on. No. No. Go with caution. Where the road bears right, leave the road to take a public bridle way. So the traffic lights are to help caravans and motorhomes get to the campsite. <laughs> Even after our detour, we feel very happy that we know exactly where we are on the map, which is brilliant. So the map and the instructions marry up very nicely on this walk. Warning, parts of this route can be muddy. I think we might have found it. Which way are you going? Yes, this is mud. I recognise this. Yes, we've seen a lot of it this winter, haven't we? Who lives in a house like this? <laughs> Let's go through the keyhole. There's no keyhole. It's just a big hole. <laughs> All right then. The bridleway eventually reaches a road. So this stile is about 25 yards from a blind bend. So hop over quickly. Now, is she going to go over or under, ladies and gentlemen? She went under. Yay. So proceed across the field and over a second stile. Oh. Sunshine, let's go. How did you do that? OK, so this stile has defeated both our dogs and it is broken at the bottom there. So you might need to just be aware of that. Cross a further field and style in the same manner before crossing a third field adjacent to the left-hand boundary. 
across the style in the far left corner. What do you reckon? Well, the walk is graded as being easy. Yeah. And it's a fair enough comment that underfoot it is generally easy. It's the styles more than anything. There's some quite tall styles. So especially if you're coming out with your dogs, you probably will have to lift them over. <laughs> it's quite narrow, that one. It's wow. hard work. Yeah. It's really hard work, yeah. I know. So the book says in this field, go on a half left bearing. This post tells us the path has been officially diverted. Please follow Waymark route so we go straight up the field. Just when you think the stiles couldn't get any taller. We have a ladder. Well, we are down. This is a monster. It's like as tall as me. So we're now heading down around the field. It's actually a, a vineyard now. And we're just going to stick to the edges of the field and head for the farm. I think it was a Friday afternoon in the county council office. Yeah. And they said, right, out it's... to the Roseland and see how many of these you can hammer onto a post. <laughs> All right then, mate, I'll do that. And he's decided to decorate it like a Christmas tree, isn't he? You go left, right, and up. Okay. Which the, way? The emergency exits are here, here, and over there. <laughs> Bear left through a gate and walk down past the barn to the left in front of the farmhouse. Follow a tarmac lane away from the farm. I think they're waiting for a drive in laughing. Oh, they're cute, aren't they? Little the tail going. Oh. Cross the road and take a stile opposite marked Rose Vine. The landowner has given us a clearly defined path between electrified electric fences. Where you go then? What? You want me to touch the electric fence? No, it's clicking, you can hear it. With ponies, they've been left in the washing machine too long on too hot a cycle. They shrunk. <laughs> That's... They're so cute. And they're going underneath. Okay. Good catch! So, hidden in the hedge is the stile. Now go a few yards left before descending to a stream, walking in the direction of the bungalow on the ridge. A fenced path leads to a tarmac lane. Turn right and walk through the village of Rosevine to reach Porthkernick Beach once again. And would you believe it's even the same day? The sunshine is glorious. We retrace our steps, literally up the steps back to the car. So what do you think of today's walk then? Well, I like the uphill bits, I like the sniffy bank bits, and I did like having a little walk along the beach. Yeah, it's quite good, really. Yeah, I didn't like the sand in my feet. I didn't like that. Oh, I'm tired. We completed the walk. Hooray, Hooray. we survived. <laughs> It was graded as an easy, do you agree? No. <laughs> Nor do I, those stars and monsters. The first half of the walk, excellent, no problems at all. Yeah. Nice and easy Beautiful path. Beautiful scenery. Beautiful views. Yeah. It's the moment you start to come inland, you're going over fields. Yes. Uh, you, you know, you've got all those st styles to contend with. Oh, we certainly wouldn't rate it as an easy walk. I would say it's more than moderate walk. And there was so, an awful lot extra added to the walk in so much as local history. So I think it's going to be a six out of 10. Final question, would you do it again? No. No, I wouldn't either. No. <laughs>